High tea is all about finesse and sophistication. Unless you're Brian. But anyone can still enjoy it and have fun. Come along as we experience the high tea at Jess's Tea Parlor. While you're here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. This is Khaki Shorts, where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. For Valentine's Day, I treated Sarah to high tea at one of her favorite tea shops. Jess's Tea Parlor is located in Woodstock, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. The inside is decorated in a sort of Mad Hatter tea party theme, with lots of teapots, hats, and other assorted tea-related knickknacks. Jess's has options for light afternoon teas or high teas. We went with the English Lady High Tea, which includes unlimited tea. They have an extensive list of teas to choose from, along with all of the loose teas in glass jars, so you can get a sense of what they smell like before tasting. Sarah went with their Buckingham Palace, which is a blend of Earl Grey and Jasmine. I tried something a little different with their Bourbon Street Vanilla Tea. They also give you a carafe of water. Instead of it just being plain, they've added a dried fruit flavor they make in-house. It gives it a little extra something. The first course is a soup or sandwich and salad. I chose the chicken salad on a croissant, and Sarah went with the creamy vegetable soup. She said this was in her top 10 of soups ever. And that girl loves her soup, so coming from her, that's high praise. Then comes what everybody loves about high tea, the tier of food. Everyone does it a bit different, but here the top layer is scones. The middle layer is finger sandwiches. And the bottom layer is desserts. Let's start at the top and work our way down. We had three different types of scones. I believe they were apricot, cherry, and a black currant. It also comes with some clotted cream and lemon curd to spread onto your scones. The middle layer is all of your finger sandwiches. First up was egg salad with lettuce on white bread. I believe they had sprinkled paprika on the bread. Gave a little something extra. Next was round cucumber sandwiches with capers on top, which Sarah had a bit of trouble picking up with the tongs. There was a pinwheel sandwich with ham. And finally, an open-faced tuna fish sandwich. The bottom layer is my favorite part, all the yummy desserts. There was a large shortbread cookie with royal icing, an espresso brownie that was very rich, strawberry cake with a molded red heart on top for Valentine's Day, and a pineapple upside down cake, which I had trouble keeping on my fork long enough to get into my mouth. We had so much food, we had to take some of it home with us. Sarah also loves their Buckingham Palace tea blend so much, she bought a bag of their loose leaf tea so she could make it at home. We've been to Jess's multiple times and always enjoy the teas and the food they present. If you're in the area, make a reservation and try them out. Thanks for coming along. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos about travel, food, and just utter nonsense.